Hi Gemini, thank you again for joining me, liking, sharing and subscribing. If you were after a private reading, my email is listed below this video. Okay, we have the Lovers card. Nine of Swords, Three of Wands, the Seven of Cups, the High Priestess and the Ace of Wands. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords, and we have the Nine of Chalices. Okay, starting off from the top left of the Lovers card, very, uh, very potent message of love here, or a connection of love, whether you're single or you're coupled, love is definitely going to be on the forefront for you. For those that are single, I feel like there's a destined union coming up here. This is someone very important, someone very influential that could be coming into your life. This could be someone from the past, someone that has previously caused you to be the Nine of Swords here, someone that has caused maybe anxiety, hardship, grief. This is also someone that... Um, I feel is uh, destined to, to, to be coming into your life around this time, whether they're there to help you, whether they're there to, um, you know, help you fulfill a life prophecy here with the High Priestess. This is someone that's being orchestrated by the universe, the gods, the divine. Um, this is divine intervention that's bringing the two of you together. So this could be a very coincidental meeting that may happen. Uh, for for others of you, I feel like you're um, you're meeting a soulmate here. There's potential to meet a soulmate, which is very exciting, Gemini. I feel it as though uh, with the with the lovers card here, this is a um, a union that's coming together. So if you are coupled up, I feel as though um, uh, there's there's a real opening and a real newfound chemistry, or perhaps a, a shift in the dynamic of your relationship. Maybe things are changing. Maybe you're becoming exclusive. It's really about two people coming together and taking that next step in their relationship. And whether that next step is becoming in, being intimate with each other, whether the next step is becoming uh, more close, more open, more exclusive. It's really about being vulnerable in front of this person because we can see these two people, um, you know, naked and just completely showing themselves, completely opening up and being vulnerable. So this could be um, what's happening for you. Now, if this is regarding work, I feel as though... Um, there's an interview, there's a meeting, there's a destined person that's coming in around you. This could be a new friend, a new business associate, a new business partner, uh, perhaps someone that's going to help you, um, you know, in a business setting or a professional setting or a work setting. This could be a time of review, um, a time of promotion, but I definitely feel like there's an important meeting that's happening. Um, something that could be regarding documents here, because you do have the Knave of Swords. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm not sure if I said knight or the knave, but in this deck it is the knave of swords. And this is about a message. This is about, uh, you know, have, needing charisma, documentation, etc. So this could have something to do with the lover's card here and something of this meeting that may be coming up here for you. Now moving on, you have the nine of swords. And the nine of swords uh, brings messages of sleepless nights, insomnia, um, restlessness, despair. This could be definitely about a love situation or a work situation, meeting with this important person. I also feel like there's, uh, you could be at a crossroads of some sort and thinking about your future and your destiny and which direction and path you're willing to take. But I almost want to say whatever decisions you're making, uh, this could influence uh, your fates because you do have the high priestess here and the high priestess is a seer of the future. So I feel like the decisions you might make around this time in July could potentially impact on your knee and your distant future because you also have the three of ones and this can denote something in the distant future, looking to the horizons, looking to travel, looking to expand, looking to relocate. So I feel like there's a lot of important decision making, there's big decisions that will be circulating around you. Now uh, this could be regarding work or love, maybe it's this newfound relationship or a partnership of some kind or finally becoming exclusive. Uh, you could also be separated by your significant other because of distance. You might need to travel for work or they might need to travel for work. Um, or this could just be anxiety and insomnia. And maybe, it, you know, it's important that you uh, uh, 
um, are looking after your mind, your body, your soul at the same time, because you know this can definitely happen with Gemini's. That you know you are air signs, you do rule the swords, and this is very common for you to be up at night, for you to be anxious, preempting things, the future of your relationship, of your business, um, how things are going for you creatively or professionally as well. So keep this in mind, and maybe this is just serving as a gentle reminder for you to. Uh, you know, to really do things for your mind um, and really try and suppress negative thoughts and try to bring yourself to a happy place. There could be a lot up in the air because you do have the Seven of Cups here as well. So, uh, you know, this could be happening around you. Now, moving on, we have the Three of Wands. Now, the Three of Wands can denote travel, long-distance travel, overseas relocation, and really looking to the future. There's also three, and oftentimes three is a crowd. So there could be a third-party situation around you, or if not, then there's big decisions that you're having to make that are going to impact you in a really, really big way here, where you're heading in your relationship. Um, for some of you, you will be meeting someone that's going to be a part of your near and distant future, potentially someone that you'll get married to or even have a child with here with the High Priestess. And, um, you know, there's a lot of movement here. Wands is fire and action and movement and development. And you do have an ace, ace of wands here as well. So there could be a strong fire sign coming in for some of you. I um, Either fire, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or a fellow air sign, a fellow Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. It's coming in and you're going to be making long-term decisions with this person. There could also be a work um uh, a work opportunity coming up for some of you with the three of wands to relocate or um, potentially meet with someone or have a, a very important conversation that's going to impact your future somehow. I feel it's more in a good way rather than in a negative way. Uh, but there's, I feel there's promises. This person that's coming in around you, whether it's in love or work, this person is promising you something in your future and it's making you reassess and it's making you rethink the, your course, your direction, um, what it is that you really want, which way you want to go, what you want out of your future. So there's, um, you know, it, it, it's a turning point, but in a good way. But this can also denote travel. For some of you, you could be meeting someone on travel. It could be meeting up with a lover. It could be a surprise holiday. It could meet. It could be. It could even mean meeting a new friend, making a new acquaintance, um, or potential client. Someone that's going to be around you for the long term, though, and if it is regarding love, I feel as though a fire sign looks very promising and a fire sign very much wants you in their future um, and, and is seeing you in their future, seeing a partnering up with you, potentially having a child with you, having, having, a, having this beautiful future with you. Now, moving on, we have the Knave of Swords. Now, the Knave of Swords is... Um, very much similar to the Knight of Swords, except that this one is very methodical in his thinking, and he's not impulsive. He's not rushing. Um, he's 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 contemplating and he's writing down what he sees. So there's there could be strong documentation coming in around you. There could be paperwork, potentially meeting with this person here, whether it's an you know an accountant, um, an estate agent. Uh, a boss, a client, an employee, but there's documentation surrounding you and things that you're contemplating on writing down. This is things that will will appear very important for you with the with the knave of swords. This is charisma as well with the swords here. So speech will be important. This could be a job interview. This could be opening up to your partner and finally being vulnerable and telling them how you feel even. So this is also possible here with the knave of swords. The Knave of Swords also carries a message, so I feel as though a message is going to be delivered to you. And this is further emphasized with the High Priestess here, who, who sends us a prophecy. So it could be in the form of tarot, it could be in the form of an interview, or it could be in the form of an important conversation. But there's, an, there's a message that's coming up for you. And it's going to change the course of how you're thinking of your future. Um, it's going to change things for you in whichever facet of your life, in your relationships, in your home life, in your personal, in your creative, in your business life. There's an important message here with the Knave of Swords. But this is also you expressing your thought and maybe this is this this is a message for you too. It's, a, you know, maybe you need to write down your thoughts 
maybe you need to express yourself in some way, maybe this is an important message you'll be writing to someone or someone will be writing to you. Now moving on, we have the uh, Nine of Chalices. Now the Nine of Chalices is a beautiful card. It's got the ink here. This is a sign of life, as you can see. The High Priestess also denotes life. So for some of you, there is news of a pregnancy, either yours or somebody around you. But this is, uh, this is bliss. This is happiness. This is fulfillment. This is positive energy. As you can see, all the chalices here. There's lots of water. There's emotional abundance here. So this could be coming for, um, coming, coming in because of this meeting someone, becoming more exclusive, having this interview, um, making these decisions that will be in your future here, that will be in your long term, prospectively in your long term future. The nine of chalices is. Um, you feeling really blessed and optimistic and happy. Now, this is a stark contrast to the Nine of Swords. So maybe you do need to go through the Nine of Swords to become the, the Nine of Chalices. But for others of you, there is going to be this somewhat um, dual uh, slash bipolar thinking. So there's definitely good feelings. There's a good outcome coming up here with the Nine of Chalices. It could even be the way this person is making you feel if this is in a love situation. If this is in a work situation, it could be that you're feeling really blessed and grateful that you're able to um, solidify a client somehow or write a message or receive a message of some kind. So there's happiness here. I love the Nine of Chalices. It's an absolutely beautiful card here of beautiful, abundant, positive energy. And for some of you, as I said, it could also be because of a pregnancy or a new life of some sort, the birth of a new life or a change, a change in, in, in your current course of destiny. Because for, for some time now, maybe with the Seven of Cups, a lot of things have been up in the air and you've been choosing what experiences, what people, what work, what businesses you want from the universe. And this, is, this card to me almost symbolizes that you're choosing what you want out of life things that you're going to be writing in your book of life, so to speak, that is going to change things for you in a really, really big way here with the Three of Wands. For some, I feel like there's a dream partner that's coming in under, under a fire sign or an air sign. For, for some time now, you have been receiving an earth sign and maybe, you know, that, do, that isn't applicable to all of you and perhaps for some, there is a strong fire sign coming in instead of an earth sign, so an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, or a fellow air sign. But I feel as though... You're slowly manifesting and working towards these goals, whether it is getting pregnant, meeting this person, having this interview, um, writing this message, um, traveling, relocating. A lot of things will be up in the air, but a lot of big decisions will be made as well at the same time. Now, moving over, we have the High Priestess. The High Priestess denotes there's a prophecy coming through for you. There's big changes. So whatever you decide is going to impact um, in a really big way. And you'll see that in, in hindsight, in the, in the distant future, you may look back and think how crucial and pivotal. The High Priestess is also a message of your future, perhaps a message of pregnancy. This is the pomegranates here, which is the fruit of pregnancy. But this could also be fertility, fecundity, or productivity. So new ideas, new ways of thinking, um, new influences. That could be changing your course of destiny. But there's something here that the fates have in store for you. And of course, you can't see it now, and you will see it later in life. This is how I feel with the High Priestess. Because she delivers a message, she's, a, she's prophetic, so she delivers this message of something that will be coming to fruition, something that will be coming through for you. For some, it could very well be a partner that's coming through, you're going to end up having a child with, you're going to be married with. For some of you that are in an existing relationship, you may be moving up, um, renewing your vows, you know, you may be changing this beautiful dynamic you have with this person. For some that are even in an existing relationship, there could be someone that's sending you messages of love or of interest, whether at work or in your personal life as well. This is also possible here with the High Priestess. And in, if it's work or creative, then I feel like something that's destined to be in your path, that's destined to be in your stars. The High Priestess is... Uh, sending you a strong message and it's, there's this esoteric feeling with the high priestess here so maybe this is a time where you consult a clairvoyant a medium a tarot reader a psychic a medium and maybe they deliver a message for you of something that is going to come through for you and come true for you 
whether it's a wish, a desire, whatever you've been perhaps manifesting or aiming or trying to manifest here with the Seven of Cups. You also have the Ace of Wands. This is movement. So for some, there's a strong notion of relocation here. This could be meeting with a real estate agent and there's relocation here of a somewhere new where you may live for perhaps the rest of your life or a very long portion of your life quite a few years, somewhere where you're going to be very, very happy with the Nine of Chalices. Ace of Wands could also be a new person, Fire Sign, Aries, Sagittarius or Leo that's coming into your life. Now this person has uh, perhaps pregnancy around them, so they may already have children and they want a long-term stable future and they could potentially make you very, very happy. But maybe there's uncertainty, doubt and despair around this person for some of you. There could also be a trip coming up if you are coupled or you are seeing someone. Um, you could be going on a little holiday together. The Ace of Wands in a work situation could also be movement at work, so moving up. And especially because there's an important message, a review, a meeting, an interview or something of this kind, there could be movement, either relocation to a different office, to a different department, a promotion as well, which is very exciting. Let's pull out a uh, Priestess Moon Oracle card and see see what else is happening, what energy is coming through. Okay, divination, divine timing, divine things are coming up for you. You've got three cards that indicate the same thing. The lover's card with this angel, the universe, the gods orchestrating this thing for you, the high priestess and the priestess of divination here. This is divine timing. This is, this is chance. This is beautiful opportunity that's coming in for you, that's meant to be in your path. And whether or not you take these opportunities is, of course, down to, down to free will. But there's something that's supposed to be here for you. I feel like there's new influences in you that are that are being proposed, that are being invited or coming into coming into your life that, that are divinely you know made for you. This could also be worship, this could be esoteric arts, this could be religious worship, this could be really big for you as well, and maybe this is something you're getting into, and maybe there's these, you know, because of these new influences, they're going to change the course of destiny for you. But there's definitely an important message that's orchestrated from the divine, from the gods, perhaps from a loved one that's crossed over, and it's it's bringing you new influences in some way, shape or form here, Gemini. 